Hey guys, how are you? I am Pavani and in this video, I am going to discuss about my interview experience with Capgemini for data engineer role. So I am going to discuss about things like uh, the hiring portal from where I was reached, the rounds of the interview, uh, the timelines and the kind of questions that were asked in each round and the difficulty level of them. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So Capgemini hiring partner actually reached me out uh, through my profile from Naukri portal. At the time I was already serving notice period with my previous organization because I had another offer in my hand. So the first conversation with Capgemini representative has happened over mobile and it was about 3 minute chat. They asked me uh, things like my primary skill set, number of years of experience, uh, last working day, latest updated resume and current unexpected salary, some basic things like that. Once they think my candidature and expected salary meets with the role, uh, they move my application to the next level. After like two days, I got a call from technical recruiter and he wanted to check like basic things technically if I am right fit for the job or not and it was kind of a telephonic round and it went around for six to seven minutes. And I was asked about the projects I had worked on, the flow, the technologies that were used and how comfortable I am to learn new technologies if there is any change in a uh, new project, uh, tech stack. So again, all these questions are uh, detail oriented and you don't actually need any preparation for this. Then my application was filtered into next rounds and after this there should be two technical rounds but as my uh, last working day is approaching they kind of merged uh, two technical rounds into one technical round and the plan is to cover everything in there. So the technical round was scheduled in the immediate next week from when my telephonic round has happened and the technical panel consists of two members and the round went for around an hour. So. It actually started with the warm-up questions like uh, the total experience, skill set projects that I worked on and technologies that were used. And once I explained about my projects, then I was asked more questions deep into the flow and logic. And then we moved into technology related questions. I was asked a couple of uh, programming questions in Python and PySpark. Uh, I was asked to write some programs and they are uh, really basic to medium level. And then I was asked some SQL related questions, again basic to medium level. And then we quickly moved into Apache Spark related questions because that's one of my expertise. I was asked uh, to explain Spark architecture, difference between Spark context and session. Uh, group by reduced by a uh, collage repartition and many more questions actually there are really a lot of questions asked in uh, spark area and once that is completed then uh, there were some questions in technologies that i have mentioned in my resume like airflow and aws there are very few questions on those things uh, like in overall technical interview like 30% uh, of the questions are easy 60% are medium and only 10% are hard. But every question or every scenario that was asked was from the skills that I have mentioned in my resume or uh, from the projects that I have mentioned uh, in my resume. So yeah, if you can revise the skills that you already have, uh, which you have mentioned in your resume, then you are good for technical round. So once the technical round is done, a HR interview is scheduled in the next couple of uh, days. A uh, HR interview is not at all a filtering round, at least in my case. They just asked about my preferred location and salary expectation. Salary negotiation took a while. After that, there is this one uh, mandatory MCAT test uh, that we should take. It tests our uh, business English, writing skills, vocabulary, grammar, etc. I did actually prepare for that because I'm not sure how comfortable I am to take an English aptitude test after like uh, two and a half years from college, but turned out it is uh, really an easy test. I could able to complete the 30 minute test in less than 15 minutes. It contains really, really easy questions. Uh, so once uh, the HR round and MCAT test are completed, I got my offer from Capgemini uh, with a salary less than, slightly less than what I expected, but still it's a good offer. 
I got other offers, but I chose Capgemini because of the good big data and analytics projects they have. And after joining, I couldn't be more happier because I was uh, given this project where I'm directly working with the client and they got amazing data products and there's a lot of exposure. And it's, it's not a permanent project, it's more of a contract, but uh, it's worth it even for the less span of time. And even after this uh, project completes, I'm sure there are good opportunities uh, within the organization. So overall, uh, my interview experience is very smooth and even inside the organization, my experience is positive. So that's all for this video. And if you want me to make any video uh, uh, on any specific content, uh, just let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching.